what's up guys it's Katie Bang and today I am going to be talking about what it takes to become a dog trainer how I became a dog trainer and all of the details really quickly I wanted to just say thank you guys so much for your support on my all my dogs video you guys requested this video so many times so I was like okay I need to sit down and get this filmed ASAP here's the little chihuahua who's shaking you're always shaking bud you're okay um, so I'm just gonna sit down and kind of get into the details and talk to you like you're my friend because if you're here you are okay bye taquito the first thing is how to start so dog training is really really complicated because it's an unregulated thing so what that means is you don't need a certificate you don't need a specific thing to get into dog training being unregulated is both very good and very bad. It's good because that means you can start today and you don't need to pay a bunch of random fees to start what you're passionate about. It's bad because it also means that anyone can start today and that there are a lot of bad dog trainers out there. But the thing about bad dog trainers is they never last, so you don't have to worry about them too much. There are a million different ways to start out dog training. The most common ways are shadow programs, schools, and shadow programs. I'm gonna tell you how I started and what I think the best way to start is and the worst way to start is. So first off for the schools, I did not go to a specific dog training school. Um, the reason for this is like there's schools like the Petsmart and Petco ones. I personally don't like pets, ugh, I combined them, Petco and Petsmart. The reason for this is because they are so public that they have to worry about their image to the public instead of just worrying about teaching you how to train dogs. So you're not their number one focus ever. And they have a lot of people go coming in and coming out. So it's just one of those things where I wouldn't invest my money into something or someone that wasn't completely invested into me. For online programs, this is probably the best option for people that work another job and are transitioning into dog training or for people that need to do something at their own pace. So these are very, very, great tools and like a really good opportunity to learn how to train dogs online. The only problem is it's not hands-on, you're not getting the actual experience and I don't think anything beats hands-on experience. If you are transitioning from a different job, an online program is definitely a great way to start. What I did and what I think is the best is a shadow program. The way to start a shadow program is a lot of really successful dog trainers will offer shadow programs and then you will go to them you will pay thousands and thousands and sometimes even ten or fifteen thousand dollars to train with them and it's a lot of money but you're getting exactly how to train you're getting hands-on experience and I don't think anything beats that but I think that shadow programs are really good just don't be dumb like me and make sure you do your research and make sure the person is not only a good dog trainer but also a very good person and don't listen to just a couple people that are connected to that person. The main thing, if I could tell you one thing, or two things. One, if you're passionate about dogs, if this is what you want to do, do it, go after it, and don't spend your life doing something you don't want to do because you're too worried about this industry. It's a competitive industry. You have to be very willing to work hard, and you have to care, but if you're passionate about it, you won't have any problems, so I would say go for it. My second thing is business is the most important thing. Yes, you want to help dogs. I love animals. I'm an animal lover first. I'm a pet owner first, but you need to have be business savvy. If you don't have business 101 on your side, you're not going to be successful because at the end of the day, if you can't make ends meet, you aren't able to help dogs. So you need to make sure that you can make ends meet. You have a business plan before you have a dog training plan. They go hand in hand, but a good dog trainer and can't be successful every single time just off of talent. Talent doesn't matter if you don't have business smarts. So you really need, I would suggest to do a business course and dog training course. I'm really lucky because my dad's um, a CEO of a company, so I get a lot of business stuff from him, but I'm also doing business school. So I think that's really important to do. There's a lot of business tools out there if you can't afford school. There's a lot of different things. And the great thing about 2018 in our day and age is the fact that there's so much free stuff online that if you want to learn how to do something, you're going to learn how to do something. So pretty much right now, what I can tell you is you have everything at your fingertips. You just have to go and find it. Also, another thing I want to touch on is there are so many things in the dog world. There's puppies, there's behavioral issues, there's trick training, there's obedience, there's service dogs, there's dogs for PTSD. There's so much to do. There's purebred dogs, there's rescue dogs, 
you don't want to generalize yourself out like and say oh I only work with mutts or I mean you can if you want but you just want to do something that you know you're going to enjoy because you can't do everything I mean you can but it's you're usually better if you focus on a couple um so for me personally I work on behavioral issues I work with puppies and I work with pretty much creating balanced dogs and helping people and dog relationships progress so that's what I do I also do pack walking because I find a lot of people have behavioral issues with their dogs and 90% of behavioral issues can be solved by walking but not a lot of people have enough time for that so they'll pay me to give a pack to their dog so their dog socialized in a safe way but also is walking and getting exercised as well because dog parks are not safe if you want to work with puppies your whole life, that's totally fine. There's a lot of puppies in this world and a lot of puppies need training. So you could do a puppy service and make a really great income. You just have to be smart at what you're doing, know what you're doing, and not kind of niche yourself out too much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I missed anything, I looked at like everything you guys were asking and kind of generalized it. So if there's anything you didn't get from this video, comment down below. I can always make a second video. And I... I'm very great at responding to comments because I love talking to you guys. You guys are my friends. So definitely make sure to leave a comment. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to do a creature call out. First thing I really wanted to say though is I cannot believe that we just hit 60k on all my dogs video. That is crazy to me to know that like 60,000 people are like in our community. And obviously there's not as many people in our family but our family is growing so quickly and I appreciate every single one of you and I want you to know that the next thing I'm gonna say is turn on your post notifications that little bell hit it after you hit the subscribe button and comment down below notification squad because instead of doing creature call outs with everyone that's really active I'm gonna start doing a notification squad so make sure you have that little bell pressed okay so now I'm going to be calling out the creature call out of the day is Tyler G so here he is can this focus? Please focus. It doesn't want to focus, but thank you so much, Tyler. I appreciate you. You have been there an OG from the beginning. I love you so much. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and become a part of our notification squad. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I answered most of your questions. So yeah, I love you. Bye. Can I say bye? Bye. Come here. Oh. Bye.